Hello, this is Yolanda from the Offcrafts channel and today's tutorial is how to make these cute little crochet sandals and um, they have a, a strap that goes over the toe part and then the strap for your around your ankle the toes are open so the baby's toes pick out through here and so I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and let's get the party started Hello everyone, this is Yolanda and to begin today I'm going to our baby sandals. I'm going to be using a size G hook which is a size 6, 4.25. Um, I know that there's a, a size uh, G hook size 0 .4, 4.0 milliliters. Um, I don't think those are available in the United States but um, if you want to make your uh, shoe a little bit smaller then you go to a smaller hook and if you want it bigger then you go to the bigger hook. What I do, um, I'm just going to give you a little tip. You don't have to do it this way if you don't want. When I do the soles, I do both soles at the same time and then go on to do the rest of the shoe. Because in that way, I could put one sole on top of the other and make sure that they're coming out the same size. I know a lot of people say that when they do um, shoes, their shoes sometimes come out different sizes. And so then that's not good. So what I did here to begin the sole of the shoe, this part we're going to start here. This is the part that is going to be showing under the toes. So if you want to make this pink or purple or blue, whatever color you want to show under the toes is a contrasting color. This is going to be our first sole. The bottom, this is kind of a strange um, pattern because you make two sets of soles. One first with this color that goes under the feet. And then my second color, I'm going to use the brown. I'm going to use the same colors that um, the person that did the pattern used just so that you could see how it looks but you are free to use whatever colors you want you're going to need three colors i'm using the tan that's going to go under the feet the brown that's under the bottom part of the sole and the strap the part top part of the shoe and then i'm going to use some blue just to do the outline in the highlighted but you can use whatever colors you want to begin then i've divided these two into two different um strings so that i can do my two um my two um, sets of soles or shoes but you don't have to do that because this is actually um, going to both be the same color and then the bottom if you want to do the bottom the same color then of course you're gonna need to do that so here to begin we're going to get our we're gonna do a slip loop I wanted to say that this is not my pattern um, this is from a blog someone sent me from a blog called Topsy Turvy and she's got really cute stuff in there and it is a um, I put the link to her um, blog so that if you want to uh, get the written pattern you can do that this is like I said this is not mine I did do another one mine I modified this pattern and then I'm going to show you guys that one as well so to begin we're going to start with 12 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay so that's our 12 chains now to do our first row it asks us to do uh, three single crochets in the second chain from the hook so here's one two so in this one here you're going to do three single crochets in there so you're just going to go in to your second chain pull out your yarn and here's there shall be two loops of yarn you're going to pull through both of those that's your first single crochet you're going to do your second one into the same hole into the same chain there and then my third chain okay my third single crochet I'm sorry so you're going to have three single crochets in the second chain from the hook let me see if I could get a little bit closer so you could see so now that's our first chain. So now we're going to do one single crochet in each of the next six chains, okay? So here is my first chain. And sometimes when you do more than one, you need to make sure you scoot back so you're not skipping a chain because that has happened to me too. So here's two. Two. Three. Four, five, six, 
five. Oops, five. Five and six. So that's my six single crochets, one in every chain. And now my next is I'm going to do a half double crochet in each of the next three chains. One, two, three. One, two, three. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm sorry, I only did five single crochets. Here's, let me do my sixth one. See, I'm glad I counted. So here, when after you do your six single crochets, you're gonna have four chains left. On the first three, you're gonna do a half double crochet in each chain. To do the half double crochet, you yarn over, meaning you wrap your hook around your uh, the yarn around your hook. We're going to go into our next chain here and we're going to do a half double crochet. And we're going to repeat that two more times. So for a half double crochet in each of the next three chains. Two. And three. Now we're in our last chain here. You're on the first row here. Let me turn this around. I don't want it to start twisting. So on the last chain here, you're going to do seven half double crochets into that last chain. And it is going to kind of look like uh, kind of a big, bigger circle, but I want you to do it like, see here, put it into this space here. So there'll be two loops on the top part here and then two here. Because if you do it on the top part of the chain, it'll make a big, like the hole will get even bigger. So here's one. Two. Okay, I'm having trouble seeing here. Two. Two. I'm going to try to bury that tail as I go around. And when you do your seven, it's going to um, start curving around like a circle, kind of like a candy cane. Sorry, didn't get the half double crochet there. Make sure I have the same, the right amount. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I need two more. Six, seven, six and seven. Six. And seven. So see how it looks kind of like a candy cane there. Now we're going to start working this row. We're going to work on the other side of this chain. Okay. So here we did seven. So here now we're going to do one half double crochet in each of the first three chains. So here's one, two, And three. And now we're going to do one single crochet in each one of the next six chains. So here's one. And see how this top part is bigger because that's the toe part. Two. Three. Four. Six. Okay, and then in our last chain here, we're going to do um, two single crochets in the last one. So here I'm going to do two. One, two, and that will be our first round. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain here to go up to my row two. Okay, and you should have 30 total stitches, 30 total, um, yes, 30 total stitches. 
So here I'm going to slip. Okay, stitch. so I'm coming to the end of my first round. The last stitch has my two single crochets. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the very first chain here. And now I want you to go and do your other shoe. That way you can make sure they're both the same size. So this is my first round. And then what I did here, I'm working two different ones here. Like I told you, one with one ball and then the other one with the other. Then I can lay them. See where they're here. I can lay them on top of each other. And I can see they're the same size. And that's why my shoes come out the same size all the time. Um, if it's too big or too tight, this is perfect because you can take it out now before you've done too much and correct your gauge, your size. And sometimes when your hand gets tired, you'll start crocheting looser. This way, if you do one round at a time, even if you start getting a little looser at the end, they're still going to be the same because um, you did them working them at the same time. And this is why these here are exactly the same size. If you look at them, they're the same size. Hey, that looks like an Oreo cookie. <laughs> So anyway, remember that this, your first sole pair of soles, you're going to have a sole on top and then a sole on the bottom. This is the part that's going to show through the toe. So I'm just using the tan here to demonstrate. And then I'll probably do another pair for a little girl, but in the, with white. And then um, this outside, I'm going to do pink and then maybe here a little bit of yellow. So this is more for a boy style, but it's totally up to you. So now that you've done your first two rows, we're going to go to row two. And remember, I'm going to work one this one, and then when I finish this, I'm going to work the other one. So here I've already slip stitched. So what I want you to do is you're going to chain one, okay, and into the same stitch there where we just chained, we are going to um, single crochet in there, one single crochet, and then the next chain, we're going to do two single crochets. We're shaping the heels, okay, and there's two in the same one. Oops. Sometimes it wants to scoot over. Okay, there. And now in, we're going to do one single crochet in each of the next six chains. So here's one, two, three, four, five, And six. I'm redoing this video because the first time the editing was not correct and it was a big mess. So I've done my six single crochets. After I do my six single crochets, I'm going to do a half double crochet, one half double crochet in each of the next four chains. So here, one, two, three, four. Right before you go into your corner, I'm going to do one, one half double crochet in each chain for the next four stitches. So here's two. three and four. I really apologize for you who saw the first video. I had someone helping me edit and it didn't come out right. So there's my four half double crochets. Now here in the next three chains, here's one, two, three, we're going to do um, two half double crochets in each of those chains. So we're doing an increase in each one. So for the first one here then, you're going to do two half double crochets, one, and there's two, that's our first one. The next one, you're going to do two double crochets, excuse me, two half double crochets, I'm sorry, in that one as well. So you're going to do three increases. And then my next, the third chain here, the next one, I'm going to do two half double crochets in there. Okay, one and two. So now we're at the tip of the toe. So now here we're going to do one, one half double crochet in each of the next three chains. One, two, three. We'll have one half double crochet. There's one. Two. And three. Okay, so now on the other side of the toe, we're going to repeat what we did on this side and on the next three chains, we're going to do two half double crochets in each chain. So here is my first one, here's one and two, and then next, the chain after that, I'm going to do two half double crochets also, one, 
and two. And now here is my last, the third one. Is that correct? Let me see here. One, two. Okay, this is my last one. So three. I, I have two half double crochets there. One and two. Sometimes I crochet so tight it's hard for me to get back into my stitches. So once we do that uh, half double crochet, we're going to do, let me see here. Now that I did that, the three, now I'm going to do four half double crochets, one in each of the next four chains. So one half double crochet in each of the next four chains. So here's one. Two, three, and four. So now that we do our four half double crochets, we're going to do one single crochet in each of the next six chains. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, and so here's our first chain. So then here we're going to go into our next little chain here and do two, two um, single crochets into the, our next chain. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Let me make sure I cut it that right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, that was seven. I'm sorry. So here's six. And then in the last chain, so I'm sorry, I, I, I did seven. So here you're going to do six single crochets. And then in the very last chain, you're going to do two single crochets. I thought, oh no, I ran out of chains. How can that be? Okay. So there you go. You're going to have six single crochets and then your last chain, you're going to have two single crochets. Now here, I want you to slip stitch and pull your yarn your through. That's going to be your round two. And now I'm going to go back and do my round two on my other um, sole. Remember, we're going to do four soles. We're going to do two for the upper part here and two for the bottom. So you're going to do your different colors. You can do it all the same color if you want. So here, let me go stop and I'm going to go do my second row. We'll come back and finish the third and final row for our sole. Okay, I finished round two for both of them. And I'm just checking them again to make sure they're the same size and they are. So now here, I'm going to be moving to round three. To do round three, remember um, this is the same for both for both sets of soles. So here to go up to round three, we're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to be um, doing we're going to do two half double crochets into that same space. So there's one and two into that same chain. Now on our next chain, we're going to do one half double crochet followed by two half double crochets in the next chain. Two. Oops. Let me highlight here so I can see what I'm doing. Now after you do your two, then you're going to do one half double crochet in each of the next 14 chains. So 14 stitches, you're going to have one half double crochet in each one. One. Two, three, four. Okay, here I'm coming to my fourteenth half double crochet. So there's fourteen. Okay, so I've done my fourteen half double crochets. After I do my fourteen, I'm gonna do um, two half double. Two half double crochets in each one of the next seven chains. So here, one, two, three, five, six, seven. We're going to do two half double crochets in each one of those chains. So here's our first one. One. This is our second one. Two. Oops. Let me get that yarn. Here's our second one. 
two, two, then our third one, three, four, five, the next one, five, five, six, six, and then our last one here, seven. The first and the second one for my seventh one. Now that's completed, it's shaping the toe. So now here we're gonna do the same thing we did on this side. We're gonna do one half double crochet in each of the next 14 chains. So go ahead and do that. I'll start doing my 14 chains and we'll come back when I've done the 14 chains. Here's one, then two, three. Okay, so I've done 13, here's my 14th. Half double crochet, 14. Okay, so I did 14 half double crochets. On our next chain then, I'm gonna do two half double crochets into the next chain. One, and two. Oops, hang on a second here. I don't wanna come through two. That's going to be followed by one half double crochet into the next chain. One, half double crochet. And then in your very last chain right there, you're gonna do two half double crochets. One and two. And now you're going to slip stitch into your first chain here, first space there, close it. And now we can fasten off. And this is the first so, okay. So now that you've done this, I want I'm going to go back and do round 3 of my second sole. And then when I finish my second sole, I'm going to do another pair of of uh, soles but in the brown, okay? So then I'm going to have four pairs of soles. So go ahead and do your round 3 on your other shoe and your two other sets of brown or whatever color soles you're using.